Hello, Mario. Well, now we've got some information into 12D, we can start looking at creating a surface. So let's get on with that and uh, see how we go. Drop that down. So here we are in 12D. And what I've done is I have loaded um, the model that I had previously with the, surf with the <clears throat> some various heights that I've input in it myself and I've input them into a model that I have called a surface 05 so um, they're all in there I'm a little concerned about these zeros here um, and they seem to be associated with the road center line but just uh, looking at my heights here I've tried to get some heights coming around through here up to 32 34 up there 33 and a high, some high coming down through here, um, that um, so that I've got a drop down here. So all my sections are looking up above the road, which is really good. Water flows should be sort of down, round through here, and well, if you make water turn the corner, um, down, round through there, and in, in general time. So um, and now I've got my heights in and it now remains um, for me to create the surface. So uh, here we go. So what we've got is that there. So I'm going to, just in that regard, turn off, turn off the road center lines um, like that, and that should turn them off. And that's got rid of those little zero heights and things there. All right, so now we've got all our points in. And it remains to um, create a, a surface, um, which generally is referred to a tin. So here we go, tins, tin, and we just create, and we're just going to triangulate the data, which brings up this little um, little box here. Um, and we generally first thing is we do the tin. Now the first tin usually is the ground. It's a pretty universal sort of name, ground, and we just push enter and it creates this tin ground model layer. So, and we just go control C for that and copy it up into the function box, control V, like so. And there we go, and then we just go triangulate. Oh, it wanted us to tell us what we want to triangulate. So we want to triangulate everything in the current view and as you can see we're in view two plan two so that's go there and triangulate and that's uh, finished that and if we go over here we'll see that tin ground has been created and there it is there all sort of created except that there's some bits and pieces out here that have been created in areas that we didn't actually cover so um, just to get it in here, I'm just going to turn off the Z values at this point, just so we can get in there. And now what we have to do is null, what we call null the triangle. So we go tins here and null, and by strings is, is, is the way that I go. And we're going to go tin ground is the one we're going to null. We're going to go there. We right click on this little arrow here and select this little line here, select that, and then we just draw a line, and that should get rid of those triangles, as you can see. That one there is probably outside our information. Right down through in there, perhaps as far as there, and that one there. Um, from there, that, those ones there can come out. That one there can come out as well. And we want to sort of avoid any um, long, skinny triangles on the side. And I'm now trying valiantly to try and, I think if I click on there, that's right. So we just want to just make sure that that's all. I think there might be a little triangle in here that we could possibly get rid of that one there i don't think that's helping to cause any and 
is we can always um, go up here to our little handy thing and get that in. So there is our tin. Oh, I think that one through there could possibly be nulled as well. So let's just right click on here and, and grab that there and just null that one out as well. So that looks pretty good. All right, so that's our tin. So now what we want to do is we want to put some contours on that. And so we go to our tins and contour and contour smooth and label. And the tin we want to label is ground. Um, we could copy that. Control C um, into the little function here. Very handy when you want to repeat stuff. And first up, the model for the contours. We'll just call that ground. And these will be the minor contours. And they will be 0.2, like so. And color cyan. And we want the, definitely want them nice and smooth. Okay, and then we can go to the major contours in here and we'll call them contours major and they will have a one meter contour interval like so with the color magenta. They're all good. And then we want to probably want to label them. So we'll only label the major contours only and We'll put them in a layer called ground labels. Okay, like that. Ground labels. And we'll use the text type Arial 1. Pretty much the go-to one. 250. And model for label lines. No, label start and end. Yes, and we'll go process. And we'll just leave that little open there and we'll go here and we'll find that here are our ground labels here are our ground minor contours and here are our major contours and i'm just going to turn the tin off there minus the tin ground which is here now the tin is the actual surface the contours are just now, there's my contours there. I'm quite happy with those. Um, initially, um, when I uh, put them in, I had some issues in here and that I had some long pointed, say some quite long pointed ones like that there. So what I can do, I might as well just um, see I've got some in here. If we turn on our oh, Z values, um, I still haven't come to terms with that there but I'll turn off these uh, ground minor and ground uh, and contours major I've got a little bit out so in there so um, what I could do let's turn on those major ones again contours major could do in here is just try and flatten flatten those contours out a little bit in there by putting some some more heights in there. So I've got 32, 32.1, so I could just flatten that out again. So let's just, um, let's uh, turn those contours off uh, there. So um, that's here, uh, contours major. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put some more points in um, so they'll be in this folder here so I just use a little eyedropper here and that just pops me onto the thing there click and accept and that should populate everything here surface 05 red 32 so if I wanted to um, I might just put a and uh, 32.1 and here and here just to see how that that goes 32.1 enter okay so now just go over to my CAD point sorry CAD point there 
and I'm going to put like uh, uh, 32, maybe a 32 point, um, I probably want to go 31.9 or something like that. 31.9 just so I've just so I've got um, just sort of flatten this out a bit here so that'll push that push that out to there click and accept click accept and maybe in and around here click uh, restart I'll just get it out here off the line Accept. So they put a 31.9 around there. There's your 32, 32.1. So um, perhaps a bit of a couple of 32s in there, just to try and get a better shape and contour. Remember, this is a fictitious um, surface. So yeah, so we better go you know, there. So let's just put. I'll just put a couple, uh, a 32 there. Except in maybe, oh, uh, maybe something like 32 in there, perhaps. No, down there, down there. Except. So that's all good. Let's just see how that goes. So, what we do now is we re triangulate. So, I've still got this little one open here. So, I can just re triangulate. Finish. And um, that will involve means that I have to renull. So turn on the tin ground, like so, and you can see that it's created some more triangulation in there. But we do have to now um, null some more triangles. Right click with that, get our little line out, and we have to do all the ones before. We have to re, re, uh, redo everything. So that's. Um, so we want to try and avoid that. There are ways of um, that we can avoid that by doing some um, sort of interest um, by creating boundaries around our points. So we just go in there. Oh, okay, so we just need to right click on here and go here again and just go from there and that takes all those out there. It's possibly could take that one out there. I think that's all good there. All good there. That can come out there. That's sort of not what I had anticipated. Okay, so that's all good there. All right, so we just put a few more points in. Just to, we can do this if we want to. And then we can just go um, here and just process these again. Process process yeah and then we can just have a look at our contours ground minor um, ground major and the ground labels uh, turn off the damn Z values okay and there you can see uh, escape escape and we could turn off the tin at this point too and turn that off and there we see that by doing that we've sort of just um, spun that out a little bit around there um, we could do a little bit of a similar thing there but it's not too bad um, and I, I did similar exercises in and around here just to flatten the contours out a little bit but of course it steepens it up through here but you can see here that of this section you've got maybe point two four six eight over 30 meters so but they're rising up above the road which i think is is quite good so the sections are going up a bit steeper over here obviously um, but again it's up above the road so you can cut the houses back in in there so i think that's a pretty good looking surface that i've got there i'm quite happy with that um surface and you can see here uh, there, if we turn off our existing road, um, like so, um, yeah, and we turn off all our boundaries, uh, turn off the boundaries, 
Um, existing boundaries possibly need to be turned off. Or, yeah, and there we are. We have our surface on our own. And what I'll look at next, I've gone a little bit over time there. The next thing that we'll be doing there is just importing that surface um, back into AutoCAD. And then we're going to be in a position where we can, um, you know, draw up in AutoCAD um, a copy of a plan of the existing situation. So there you go. Pretty good. A surface is born. And that's in our um, project there that I've called demo so I may have to rename that project and that might be my main project going forward all good cheers see you